for all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. Let's, let's just try and, and, and stay on the science. And I'm going to ask you gentlemen to be extremely gracious. You both are. But if someone said you, you had to believe in a young earth, what argument from an astronomical viewpoint, a scientific viewpoint, would you say is Jason's strongest? Well, you heard me say earlier, and also Jason agreed, is that you won't find a scientist who doesn't feel that the Bible forces a young earth interpretation that would actually say there's any scientific evidence uh, for uh, a young universe or a young earth. In fact, in the 1987 Supreme Court hearing, a geophysicist said it's in the same category as a flat earth. And as an astronomer, I would find it easier to argue for a flat earth than I would to argue for a universe that's only 10,000 years old. Well, he did give several what seemed to be scientific explanations that could align with the young Earth. Are any of them possible? No, not a single one. I mean, everyone. Could you tell us what you really think? <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying that you unpack the reasons why in the book A Matter of Days. Yes, Gaze. yes, yes. Jason, same question opposite conclusion. What it seems think? to me that all of the arguments that Dr. Ross put forward are based on uniformitarianism and naturalism. Uh, now, since I reject those presuppositions, I don't find any of them credible. However, if I were to grant uniformitarianism and naturalism, then I would, all of those would be reasonable arguments. So it really comes down to whether or not we believe that, that God can supernaturally create the universe and that God can change rates and conditions. That's really what it's going to come down to. Outside of the Bible, is there any way we can get at the past without assuming uniformitarianism? Is there any? Yeah, through, well, through some other history book. But you can't scientifically uh, measure the past. And that's one of the things that I think was important to, to bring up. Uh, science deals with the way the universe works today. And it tells us a lot about the way the universe works today. But it is ill-equipped to deal with the past. We can make guesses, but those guesses are going to be based on assumptions. And you're going to have to make an assumption about rates and conditions in the past. It'll either be uniformitarianism or catastrophism. Or you're, there could be somewhere in between, but it's going to be one of those assumptions. Do you have a book that responds to what you have said, similar to his book that's respond to what you have said? Which, no, I'm, scientific. <laughs> scientific. These guys always want to go to the Bible, don't they? No, do you, do you have a book that responds yes. to his scientific arguments? Yes, I, I have a book that deals with some of the scientific issues. Taking Back Astronomy deals with many of them. We have that at our table. Taking and then back the other astronomy. one we have is called Old Earth Creationism on Trial. 